How are y'all doing? How are you? You guys uh, Jehovah's Witnesses? Yes. Yeah, I was hoping to talk to you for a minute. My name's Will. Okay. I live in a neighborhood I was driving by, and uh, I figured I'd come back and talk to you for a minute. All right. Um, My name's Will, too. Oh, <laughs> how about that? Yeah. It's good to meet you. I, well, I wish you. I'm not trying to get you in the street, right? Yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. Ted. Hey, Will, good to meet you. Um, I was, my mother and my sister are Jehovah's Witnesses, and an attempt was made at, at raising me as one, but it didn't, well, you can look at me and tell it didn't take, right? <laughs> and, <laughs> um, you look like Moses, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something yeah. like that, Moses with ink, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. And, you know, the one thing, I, I've, I've done a lot of looking into um, the organization of Jehovah's Witnesses worldwide. And I have a very personal interest in one topic in particular, and that's child abuse. And I was, I was even when I was uh, being raised, for 10 years, my ministerial servant, stepfather, raped and beat me for, for 10 years, for a decade of my life, from the ages of 5 to 14. And you, and you complained about this, about this yes, program. he was this fellowship for a record short amount of time, like a couple months, like two, it might have been three months. He was reinstated right after that. We were serving where the need was great down in down in northern Texas. And, and my abuse continued. And I've, I've looked into it since then, and I have found thousands, like I would say it goes into the tens of thousands of cases like mine. And... It, you know, no one in the congregation was told. I was threatened that if I talked about it, it would bring reproach on Jehovah. And I call bullshit on that. Like God, that's not God's justice. No. That's man hiding things because they're worried, in my opinion, because they're worried about lawsuits. And so I have concern for this because I don't really, I don't know if a lot of y'all, I'm assuming your elders. Yes. I, I so you might have dealt with these cases. When you start looking into it, it's been hidden for decade upon decade. Yeah, and that's the wrong way to handle it. And that yeah. how how can that like be that. God doing that? Yeah, you know if, what I mean. If we know about it, if somebody it mentions it to us, we're immediately supposed to call the branch office. We'll and I, get, uh, yeah, get, go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. Go ahead and get with the lawyers. And if it's uh, like Virginia, you're required to report it to the. As of this summer, yes, as of this summer. Clergy class. You're no. in the clergy class. But we were required before that. No, not the clergy class. You weren't. I mean, I've mean, i talked not, to not, other elders in Virginia that admitted that it no. wasn't required. Elders and before our organization is. Yes. Not legally. We as, report it. As, if we want to stay an elder, stay in the organization, we have to report it. Well, that's the way it should be. I agree with yeah, you. Yeah. I agree with you. That's why we've always done that. That's not that's, true, sir. Well, I'm no. sorry to tell you that's not true. I know. And I don't mean, I'm not trying to be confrontational no, there. I've been around 50 years. And I, and so I thank you. <laughs> and I thank you for doing that. Yeah. I've found so that's many court cases. I agree. So, I agree completely. It's always a lot of, done. A lot of witnesses have been disfellowshipped for committing, um, uh, committing fornication. Right becoming milita um, politically involved, doing a lot of things that we don't do. But y'all are they politically involved. Your organization is. We're, we're neutral. You're part of the United Nations. You're at least associated no. with it. Uh -uh. From the years of two, what was it, like 93 to 2001, you were an NGO in the United Nations, admitted by branch, admitted by other Jehovah's Witnesses I've talked to that have served at the branch. Y'all were part of the, the wild, was it, the harlot or the wild beast, which are when they call it, while you were studying the Revelation book. And the branch admits this. Now, a non-governmental organization is an entity that is a part of the United Nations. And that's, according to Revelation, that's the disgusting thing. This is yeah. verifiable. You can call branch and you, they'll verify, yes, they were part of the United Nations. Okay, I'll have to verify that. And what they're going to, the answer I got when I called was that, well, we needed a library card. 
Well, I, I can go in the library uh, in New York there, New York City. There's two libraries for United Nations there. And you can walk in. You don't need to get a library card. I can walk in and I'm nobody. You know what I mean? Like, so the, the answer they gave doesn't even... And especially if you're going to believe the Bible, though, how, when it says to stay away from the disgusted, you have nothing to do with her. Yeah. Trust in God or trust in these governments of men and organizations of men. If you truly believe that United Nations is evil and of the devil, then there is something seriously wrong if they then go and join said organization. And they're still affiliated with it now. They're still affiliated with the OSCE, which is a sister organization of, in for Europe, for the United Nations. It's just a smaller because it's Europe focused, but it's a sister organization for United Nations. And you have member, the, your, your uh, headquarters sends members to the yearly meetings and is a part of it and petitions them on a regular basis. Petitions the United Nations and the, and the other European... OSCE, yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, you petition them for those who are basically being held prisoner or being tormented or not allowed to do the preaching work. And I can, on from a human perspective, I can understand petitioning, maybe. But then if you say that these organizations are the, basically the devil incarnate, are you should you go to the devil for help or should you go to God for help? Yeah, well, basically, you know what I mean? well, we're not supporting. We're not, we don't support it in the sense of monetarily or... Well, you, you did. You did back in from uh, 91 to 02 or 92 to 01, something like that. Yeah, I, don't, I, I doubt that. Maybe it might not have been monetary, but there was uh, support, as in saying some quasi nice things, or they have to actually sign a sign a like kind of like a charter type thing where you say you will support the United Nations when you become an NGO. They wouldn't. But they they call headquarters. They'll admit that they were part of the United Nations as an NGO, a non governmental organization. Was is what NGO means. Anyway, that's not even what I wanted to talk to you all about. <laughs> That's completely a side point. Now, like I, I, I do believe in the Bible. I am, I, I would quantify myself as a Christian. Uh, and I guess when I, you know, I, I, my mother and my sister want me to, what they call it, coming back to Jehovah. Yeah. And when I did an investigation of your organization, I just had some issues with it. And so when I see Jehovah's Witnesses, I talk to them. I'm curious to get different takes. For instance, I'm very happy to hear that you guys report child abuse, because obviously it's very near and dear to my heart, right? Um, and one of the things, I, I was military. I'm retired. I'm retired Army now. You know, been there, done that, been to, been to combat. And one of the things that I learned to do was kind of like verify intel, which isn't that hard. It's just, you know, verifying sources and then cross-checking and all that stuff. And so I kind of put some of those skills to use in investigating Jehovah's Witnesses. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses in general, like you guys, I've got no issue with y'all. I think y'all are great people in general. I, you know, I don't have no, any problem not, with y'all. We're not made up of a perfect group of people. We yeah, no a, one is. We have a lot of rotten apples in the barrel. And we try to root them out. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's, that would be a good thing to do that. I agree. I mean, any, anybody can come in our organization lined with holes. Right, and right. Yeah, we, we couldn't stop that. Well, one of the things that is well, we concerning... That's the situation well, the, we deal with. Well, historically, that's the, that's the issue I have, is historically, it doesn't feel like y'all have... And I think as leaders in your community, you should know about this. Like, you've lost tens of millions of dollars in court cases worldwide, in the U.S., never mind worldwide. You have the Australian Royal Commission. Did y'all hear about that? It was back in, it was a couple years ago. And Australia investigated all kinds of organizations, uh, religions, daycare, like Boy Scout. Like, they didn't, it, they weren't focused on just... One group. They wanted to see child protection yeah. in all areas and all organizations, yeah, and Joe, do, they investigated do, uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Best to keep them out. Yeah, but, well, here's the thing: Jeffrey Jackson actually everything. testified. No, you you can't. But there's a difference in doing what's right and yeah. turning a blind eye. Yeah, that's yeah, I, what we we, to we've do. met. I've met with people who have been abused. Yeah, you're meeting with one now. <laughs> yeah. and I mean, I mean, 
And basically, the I lost my train of thought. Tell I'm getting old. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make sure that's on silent. I do that. You know, I'm. I don't have an excuse. I do that, and I'm only forty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we've dealt with them, and they kind of. Um, you, they kind of come in from somewhere, and somebody drops the ball, or they don't want to deal with it, and we get we get slapped for it. Um, Rightfully so. Yeah, we get slapped, and some of these lawsuits are, are justified, though. They're justified, and we have to pay it because we're wrong because they, they right. dropped it. Yeah. But the person who dropped the ball didn't have to pay the suit. See, he's just, oh, they, they have actually. There's been multiple yeah. elders that have been sued as well. Uh, you got Circuit Overseer. That's that's happened to a number yeah. of them actually. Yeah. Run recently. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Yeah, it is. I agree. The yeah. person, the person, and the organization. I yeah. agree. Should be yeah. held responsible. And we got we got instructions. We get we got instructions. This thing on how to handle our situation. Yeah, you got a whole chapter in the elders manual now. We got a. Yeah, I've got a copy of that. Yeah. I mean, it's easy to get. It's because it was it was subpoenaed as evidence, so it's it's easy. To, it's it's all public knowledge. It's not like a secret yeah. handbook that well, no can, one can get. You know, I can download it. They just right. They just don't want it spread around. Right, but the good thing is that they have it before the before the February edition. There was what two paragraphs addressing child abuse. Now there's a whole chapter. I think that's a big win. Yeah. I think that's a good thing because. We got we, it, we got notification by letters. Yep. We had documents that yes, sir. cover this material also way before. That's a that good thing. Could you get yeah. over? We had a lot of things that weren't in the book. Right. Yeah. For the instructions for the brand. Well, like the one thing about the I'll make one note about Australia is that they got hit pretty hard, and their per capita abuse rate there was much higher than a lot of the other organizations. They had a list of 1,006 pedophiles at the branch office that were never reported that was being kept hidden, basically, from uh, the authorities. And Jeffrey Jackson even testified in, in that court case, one of the governing body members there. Yeah. And uh, it, I mean, the fact that... You're talking about the branch office of Australia? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. yeah the branch office in Australia, yes, sir. Yeah, they had, so they had a list of 1,006 pedophiles, pedophiles, not abuse victims. Yeah. That's just pedophiles. Some of them abused over 10 kids. Yeah, okay. And one of them, again, circuit overseer, you, you actually had a, I mean, anyway, but like that to me is extremely disturbing yeah. because is the branch doing something that headquarters doesn't know about? Probably not. You know what I mean? Like the headquarters pretty much controls everything with an iron fist yeah. when it comes to the branches. And and so, like, stuff like that is, you know, I would just say, I don't just be careful. Anybody. Then why not, why did they keep a secret list of I pedophiles at the branch office? I don't believe it. It's fact. You can verify it yourself. Yeah. Jeffrey Jackson is there testifying. You can actually watch the unedited testimony. But that doesn't mean they can cover them up. So if I don't tell I mean, someone that a murder was committed, am I liable for, for, am I an accomplice by hiding it? Yeah. If I don't report it. I don't it. believe they're hiding. How, then why, why wouldn't they have just given that list to the authorities? They probably did. They didn't. That's just it. They didn't. That was, now that was 1,006 unreported. There were about three, four, maybe 500 they had reported. But there was, again, a list of 1,006 that the branch office kept hidden, and it was subpoenaed. It was confiscated. That's maybe, how the authorities found out about it. Because they hadn't gotten to those cases yet. They no, some of, the, some of the cases were it within a few years. Some of them went back 50 years. No, they shouldn't be. No, not if it's be. God's organization, I but they did. They how can you say that if you don't know the facts, sir? I don't, See, this is what I happens when I talk to you as witnesses. Right, but it's easy to verify. Right, maybe I'm not some guy that was raped and beaten for 10 years. Maybe I'm just here oh, being a jerk, right? Yeah, but I again, you don't know me. Like, I get that. I 100% get that. My concern is that but there's the just some things that the same thing. they're supposed to. They right. have to verify every single case. And they're not going to hide any of those. The, the if branch, it's proven, if branch, it's proven branch of Australia.
Yeah. In Australia, right? Yeah. yeah. So the, they reported to the branch in New York, and the branch in New York, I don't believe, would hide anything, yeah. but the branch mm. in Australia might. The New York branch has a list also. That's it was in this. So the, you guys, the Jehovah's Witness lawyers, just went to the Supreme Court a month or two back mm -hmm. to try to appeal a case where the courts in California had told them to hand over their pedophile list. And they refused to do it. They paid a $4 million fine in California, $4 million of your donations. And then they appealed it to the Supreme Court because they didn't want to have to pay the fine. And they didn't want to have to submit their list, the pedophile list that the branch in New York has. And this was, again, Supreme Court case in the last couple months. You can look it up. It's very easy to verify. I think Philip Brumley is your lead counsel. I'm not sure if he represented Watch Terror for the Supreme Court or not, though. And anyway, he used to be the lead, lead counsel. I'm not sure if he is anymore. But anyway, and again, so they have a list of pedophiles at the New York branch office that covers the U.S., and they don't want to turn it over to the courts, and they paid out $4 million of your donations to keep it hidden because they refused to turn it over. And again, easily verifiable. So again, I come back to why... Why aren't they just reporting these pedophiles? You know what I mean? Well, they're required to, and I don't know. Right, they're, they're required to, but they aren't. Yeah, but I would think that um, somewhere along the way it would leak out to the general public of Jehovah's people that these things are going on. Do you go looking for this stuff? No, I don't go looking it's, for it. But right, but I did, and it's easy to find. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I understand you. I mean, y'all, you know, you guys have paid out just in the U.S. tens of millions of dollars in the last decade and a half for child abuse stuff. Like, so it's at what? Okay, so here, here, take all this and kind of whittle it down to what's what's the main point? Well, we got over eight million people, so you know, yeah, we, we paid out. We paid have, out you're gonna have over a lot hundreds of, of millions right mm -hmm. rebuilding buildings during these hurricanes and these. Uh, I mean. Something must be not construed right or whatever. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. But I know we spend a lot of money on rehabilitation of countries, uh, people's homes. Yeah, that's, that's, that'd that's be a good thing. We uh, I wouldn't say that's a bad yeah, thing. But then why wouldn't they? I mean, they really, they really are down on that child abuse now so maybe some of this stuff is really causing them to make take some act, extra action and we know they get reported because we're instructed to report them. well you had a case so, in montana last year yeah, see, that's the thing, is it? that it that that did they the didn't yeah. they did yeah and the elders there the the branch it was actually came from the u.s branch it was proven in court last year in a montana case we all lost 34 million dollars the branch told the elders to not report it. Montana is mandatory reporting for clergy. And it was proven with documents subpoenaed that were confiscated from the hall. And it was letters from the branch that said, don't report this. And it's mandatory reporting in Montana. So again, last November, y'all lost $34 million. I don't understand, because I've, I've called the branch and talked to them. And they say, yeah, you have to call. So that's people. a good thing, right? Yeah. But here, here's the issue. When it, if I mean, if some, I'm telling the somebody's truth. Somebody's dropping the ball. Right. So if I'm telling the truth, if, if, how if high does truth. the corruption go? Yeah. You know what I mean? If you have people in the branch office of this country, you got people in a branch office in Australia, you have the governing body going to these. It was basically like a, like a congressional hearing is what he testified in front of in Australia. So if you're God's organization and you have corruption that high up how much can you believe or not believe about what they say do you get you do you understand where i'm going with that yeah i can understand what you're doing but you know i don't so, see it the same way i of course you're not going yeah. to right, right. but it, it for me it it skews everything how can i i have a hard time not questioning everything my mother or my sister says to me yeah. because how can I trust if the source, if at the source you have this corruption that is allowing kids to be abused? You know I, what I mean? It, I it, at, it doesn't I, help. I look at the, the abuse that's going on in the world around me. And I look at what's going on in our organization. 
and it's really clean compared to what's out there. You got the, the Democrats, the Republicans, you got, uh, you got all these people doing nothing. You got wars going on, uh, military spending in the Army. Oh, yeah, some wars are required, though. Force. But some wars are necessary. You know that, then. Not all wars, some wars. Yeah. So well, people think it's necessary. Because of well, yeah, you could just let yourself be killed. Yeah. You could. The, the Israelites didn't do that. Even no, Jesus no. had his disciples have short swords. Yeah, the thing is that, yeah, well, yeah, okay, I'll go with all that. But the thing is, where I'm at, and the hope I have from the Bible itself. Yes, sir, I agree with that part. Yep. Is, is There's no other place I can go. Well, it's, who, to whom would you go, right? Not where, it's to, go, it's to Jesus you go. Yeah, yeah. Right. It, yeah. So if they I said... Any, I, was, I was part of Christendom at one time, and I know that was corrupt. What part? Baptist. Okay. There's a lot of issues with the Baptists at the yeah. moment as well, with child abuse. Yeah, but I went... Well, not only that, that's what they teach. Uh, I would there's agree. The there's some. Thing. There's some things that are wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well depending on not all Baptists, because there's so many different groups within that. You know, yeah. like I don't know. I don't have them look at all of them. I've been the Lutherans. I've been to these, and I've been to all these different churches when I was out in California going to mm -hmm. school. And yes, sir. They all they all taught the same thing. Most of the time, they weren't teaching anything, <coughs> and I wasn't getting any answers for anything. And this is the only place I've found answers. Oh, it's, you know, I would suggest you do. I, now, let's just change gears. I'll get off. I'm not, I don't want to seem like I'm attacking y'all, right? Or your organization. Um, I've really made a lot of study into the Hebrew and the Greek the last few years. And I tell you what, it has opened up the Bible for me. It is, it is amazing, especially the Greek. Because uh, I like, you know, when you get into learning the language and what the original words mean and meant at the time, uh, it is, I mean, it's, it's, it's thrilling. It's amazing. It's like, it's just cool. Um, how much the Bible has opened up for me and, and my understanding of what is being said. And I'm at the point where I don't, I don't really like any one single English translation. When I study the Bible, I use multiple English, but I also go back to the Hebrew and the Greek. Because I haven't found a single English translation that accurately portrays it. But the problem is you would have... Greek or do you I do not speak it. No, you take sir. somebody else's word for what the definition is. Many, many sources, though. I don't, I just don't, I don't look just at one source. And that's, and that's, that's where that's you also get back to idioms. In our new translation. We've got a study Bible that goes that. back to the Greek and the Hebrew and explains what they meant at that time. I thought y'all were based off the Westcott and Hort manuscripts. Well, they, they did the original translation of the New World Translation for that, but okay. But now they they go back and they they study the languages. Oh, really? What do they mean? And we translate it. Yeah. Translate it into other languages, and we have to translate it in a way that this is what it meant in Greek, in English, to yeah. some other language. So we got people who speak that language. And it's difficult. Yeah, it's difficult to do. You don't, yes, sir. You don't um, just translate word for word. It's, no, it's, no, you can't. It's, it's, it's not possible. See, that's what... Especially in other languages. And then you go back to idioms and also just what words meant when they were said versus now. Like, modern Greek doesn't accurately, accurately portray the Koine Greek. It just doesn't... They don't mesh. Forget it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. You know, one, one funny thing is, I think it was like 1 Corinthians fifteen thirty three, where it says, bad associations spoil useful habit. I think I have the scripture right. Yeah. One funny thing about that quote is it's actually a quote by the, the poet or playwright Menander. And it's actually Paul quoting a satire play that was popular in, in Rome and Greece at the time. So it wasn't actually Paul, God telling Paul to say, bad associations spoil useful habit. He was... Playing off of yeah. off of something that was off of a play that was like the most popular at the time, one of the most popular at the time, and so it, to me, I find that um, I find that pretty funny. He's like, it kind of gives you a human element to him, where it's like he's playing off of what they know at the time, but he's also getting them to think and to laugh. He's adding in some humor there, you know. Yeah. Well, the thing is that being original all the time is fairly difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you have to, you know, you take the language and take the thoughts of people as they say. Right. And, and yeah. For your own use. And yep. for use to teach people, too. 
And that's that's what I, I guess that's what I was getting at because a lot of times when I think a lot of people have a tendency when they read the Bible to not see it from a human perspective or they don't might maybe don't look at the writers as uh, they might look at them as some type superhuman or or maybe it's you just don't have that connection like me and you talking is a different element than if I read about our conversation a hundred years from now you know there's there's an interaction there and I. And that's the thing with that with that verse and the fact he's quoting Menander, it it helped to add that in for me, where it, it kind of gives you that that human touch to it, and understanding that yeah, these were just normal dudes that were, you know, that and and it helps you kind of empathize, understand it better, I guess, or me anyway. But anyway. But it's the best advice in the world. I agree. I, I agree, mean, sir. Way, if we apply the advice. In dealing with each other, like the scriptures tell us, it's the best way to live. I agree. I agree. And there's going to be. And there's a hope. There's a hope that goes with it. And there are people who are going to mess it up. Because Jesus even said that there'll be people who intermingle with you, who who try to mislead you and finish other sex. Well, and that, yeah, they would be those misleading and being misled so you're yeah. even going to have these false teachers yeah. that don't realize they're false teachers be some, you know i mean they're not going to come out and say i'm misleading people well misleading and being misled yeah. so that person that's doing yeah. the misleading is being not not always yeah. right not always yeah but it's my yeah. responsibility to verify to test verify all things right the scriptures or what's like the about. bereans yeah. yes sir yes sir i agree with you completely on that Everybody has to render account for his own self, and he will be judged individually. So all these wrongs you're talking about, no matter what organization you're in, you're right. going to be correct. Uh, I mean, I agree with that in a nebulous sense. It doesn't help someone that's going through it. You know what I mean? Oh, that doesn't do anything for him. I'm at peace with where I'm at. You know, like, I, I was, for instance, when I went to military, but you know I was very angry. Was going to be properly dealt with. Well, yeah, well, he's dead now, so well, it worked out at the moment. Well, whatever happens in the future, uh, that's between him and God. Him, you? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking No, I didn't. I didn't. Where's no. your mom living? She's in uh, upstate New York, oh, okay. small town, kind of close to the Pennsylvania border, halfway down the state, I guess, something like that. But you were in Texas at the time? Uh, well, in Maine and Texas, Maine, okay. yeah. You know, yeah. Maine, Maine has one of the biggest populations or biggest problem with incest also. Really? Yeah. I did not know that. Well, I know of 10 other kids in the hall gr- I grew up with in Lewiston, Maine. I know of 10 other kids that were being abused like me. Yeah. 10 in one hall. There's about yeah. 200 people when I was growing yeah, up in that hall. They, were up that area, and they said that it's amazing what's, what's happening with incest. Hmm. So, well, apparently it was a big thing. Yeah. When I was there as well, uh, I wasn't a witness at the time. I just found yeah. it out. Yeah. It was going yeah, I didn't know that either. I haven't I haven't looked into the incest incest issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I, I consider incest getting into abuse. <laughs> oh, I would I would agree, and it's usually done because the other person was that was done to them in some form or fashion. Yeah, some way or know? another, they got hooked into it. That's amazing. Yeah. You talk about ten and that one all. I've been around for fifty years, and I haven't seen ten cases. All together. That's a good. That's, that's a, 